In 2008, I was um, working on a small project at Brown University right after September and the Lehman Brothers crash happened. Overnight, Brown University lost $26 million out of their operating budget. And very quickly, the board of directors came together and they said, we are going to have to find 200 uh, people, whether it's uh, no, not filling vacancies or layoffs, that we're going to have to shed from this campus. 200 people, right? And they were, the president, Ruth Simmons, was, was explicit about this. She said, this is what we're going to do. You can only imagine everybody's reaction, which is, could, is it going to be me? One of the messages to them was, you're either living in a hope for an economic recovery, right? Or you're sitting in a reminder, you're reminding yourself, this, maybe this is the new normal, right? And at the time, what I told people was, do, put yourself in a mindset which everyone gives you the most strength to keep moving forward, right? But I can tell you, now it's five years later, doesn't it feel like the time, like five years later? And in many ways, we've, you know, the bottom hasn't dropped out entirely, right? And in many cases, there's been some level of recovery, recovery. But I would suggest to you that this is the mindset we need to hold. And what is the new normal? The new normal is this. This is where we live, right? <laughs> if you don't like it, we don't like it because it's uncomfortable, right? There was a great quote, Marilyn Ferguson, author and public speaker, back in the 50s, she wrote the book, The Aquitaine Conspiracy, and she was interviewed about change. And Marilyn said this, it's not so much that we're afraid of change or so in love with the old ways, but it's that place in between that we fear. It's like being between trapezes. It's Linus when his blanket's in the dryer. There's nothing to hold on to. Change is about being between trapezes. It's about Linus not having the thing that he desperately wants. And as simplistic as that sounds, what I'll tell you is I think that's the seed of some profound wisdom.